I'm Joanna Simpson here at Fund Forum International and joining me now is Hao Hao, Director of Strategy, KPMG China for Asset Managers. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you, Joanna. And of course China has always been too big to ignore, but why is it time for asset managers to look at China now and what are the drivers for growth? Yeah, well, I think for a couple of different reasons. Uh, first off, I think the growth of the market in China has been accelerating to a point that uh, probably now is a critical moment for everyone, not only the foreign managers, but the massive ones, to rethink their China strategy. Second reason is that the market has finally become large enough. It's always on everybody's radar, but for most of the global managers, for a very long time, China is maybe 1% of their global portfolio. And now we feel the market is sort of at a point where it's going to play a more critical role in the overall business of all the global managers. And lastly, probably more, most seasonably is uh, it's being opened up to foreign investment. So Chinese regulators and policymakers are doing a lot of things put into the framework, the policies and measures to not only allow, but actually in many ways encourage foreign asset managers as well as other financial institutions to come and develop their business in China. So we feel you know, that the economy is still doing very well, uh, the demographics is supporting uh, accumulation of wealth, um, investors becoming more sophisticated, uh, a lot of different drivers um, sort of are pushing the industry, taking it to the next plane of growth. So we feel now is a good time for global managers to take another look at their China business. And what is the largest opportunity for foreign asset managers? I would say probably in the immediate um, short to mid run will be the pension reform that's taking place in China. Uh, not only the government has uh, encouraged more contribution from both the state side, the individual and the employers to contribute more money to the pension system, the pension pool, they also are putting in place a lot of regulations um, and rules that allow them to more effectively uh, run the portfolio, run the investment management process so that the return you realize on your pension saving can be at least higher than the inflation. Uh, we estimate there be easily another one to two trillion US dollar uh, equivalent of new funding coming to the pension sector in China. So the overall the market is very attractive, it's growing very fast, it looks very promising. And what's the best about uh, the pension business in China for the foreign manager is that it's one of the last few areas where China still wants, still needs the help of foreign manager. Right. So if you look at the banks or insurance companies, China has worse, some of the world's largest banks. Um, China has worse some largest insurance companies are very well capitalized and probably they feel um, they can take uh, from here. But pension, I think there's a general consensus at different levels within the country that it's still an area that they need help with product design, with investor education, to drive financial inclusion. Um, so it's one of the last few green fields in the OOFS industry in China where foreign contribution, foreign participation uh, is welcome. So we feel this represents, you know, both on the market side inside the drivers and uh, maybe a more technical way, um, the technical opportunities created for foreign managers make the pension sector uh, the most important uh, and immediately uh, important opportunity for foreign managers in China. And what would you say is the winning strategy for foreign asset managers to tap into the China market? Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, China is a, it's a challenging market, right? Like most of the foreign managers would agree. Um, there are a couple of things uh, from our point of view, strategically we think that foreign asset managers need to uh, get right, or at least be mindful of. The first thing is the level of personalization, uh, engagement that's required by Chinese investors, especially retail, um, is a lot higher um, than maybe you find elsewhere in the world. And that's something I think the Chinese managers get it. And some of them have learned so much from the technology companies, from the retail companies. But it is probably something foreign managers are a little bit underprepared when it comes to China. And second thing, we feel that they need to be prepared for the time it takes 
in the resource intensiveness to actually build a successful business in China. A lot of the managers we've been talking to um, feel that China, China is lost, you know, and it takes a long time to fully penetrate it, but they haven't really put the resources, you know, the operations where it needs to be to be prevalent in such a large country. Which leads me to my last um, point on the winning strategy, which I think is ideally you need to have a technology-enabled operational model in China. Uh, it's more imperative in China than elsewhere. So foreign as managers as well as domestic ones, as well as other financial institutions, you need to relentlessly develop and apply new technologies, uh, but also under the particular context of Chinese regulatory framework, you know, retail investors demand. That will be probably a very critical input to ensure their success. Um, always strive for more efficiency, always strive for an operating model that can support your business ambition. That's going to be very important to win in China. So a variety of opportunities. Hi, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you.